money at howtopulse.com. I've got another how-to video here. Um, this is going to be how to move your assets from one hardware wallet account to another hardware wallet account. Uh, one example of this might be if you've got a migration wallet that you started on a MetaMask or a Trust wallet and you've migrated those 12 words into uh, a hardware wallet and you've got a vault wallet or you might just have two vault wallets and you want to move your assets from one hardware wallet to the other hardware wallet. Okay, so let's get into this. So you want to go to MetaMask and you want to connect the wallet that you are sending to first, right? We want to we want to extract that public address that you're going to send it to. All right, so I've got a wallet here that I've got connected it's a brand new account brand new seeds and I'm gonna go ahead and connect that to MetaMask okay I'm gonna pick the first address and unlock that so as you can see here I've got account one account two which are MetaMask accounts which I was playing with in testnet but normally you're not gonna see any balance here we're not using these accounts we're only using hardware wallets so this Trezor one that I've got connected now, <clears throat> excuse me, is the address I want to send to. All right, so I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go right here down to settings, go to contacts, add contact. I'm going to write vault, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and paste the public address in, and as you can see 555D is the account that I just added and that is the account here 555D so this is the wallet address I want to send to okay so I've saved the public address now since I'm gonna hook up a different horror wallet I want to get rid of this account so it doesn't conflict with anything in MetaMask because MetaMask seems to be buggy sometimes when you have multiple accounts connected so we're gonna go ahead and remove that always double check the account one or account two you know just the metamask accounts or what are showing all right so i'm gonna go ahead and connect the migration wallet which is just my testnet wallet that i play with all right and we're gonna go ahead and connect that to metamask all right so we're gonna go to connect hardware wallet i've got a trezor we're gonna hit continue and continue. Don't worry about those little notes at the top. All right, so I've got a pin number on this Trezor. All right, and I don't have a passphrase for this particular wallet and you won't either if you did a migration, all right? So your if you migrated a 12 word seed from a software wallet to a hardware wallet, you're always going to have account one is going to match the account one that you started in like let's say metamask so this is what would be a migratory wallet and i have a little bit of test pulse in there so now we're going to just hit send we're going to click on the vault wallet which is the one i just saved and we're going to just send a test amount first and you can do this in testnet even when uh, mainnet goes live you can double check this stuff but since testnet is out you can actually get on testnet and you can practice this now all right so we're gonna go next we got a point zero 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 four eight eight nine gas fee and then we are going to confirm on the Trezor the transaction and we now have a send pending in the queue And it shouldn't take too long. There we go. We have one that just disappeared. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove this account. I'm going to plug my vault wallet back in. And I'm going to go right into connecting the Trezor. Hit continue. Allow and export. Again, putting in the PIN number. and no passphrase in this case and this is the 555d 
and as you can see the one test pulse that I just sent to my vault wallet from my migration wallet so it is just a simple send, but the steps are to plug in your vault wallet first create the contact copy the public address and save it in MetaMask um, if you want to save it on a notes folder in your computer uh, in case you end up deleting this MetaMask and starting a different one uh, you can save those in a notes that you know these are just public addresses anyway um, but yeah that is how you do it and uh, hope you guys enjoy and good luck to everybody thank you